Warning, this episode of Lone Survivor may contain scenes of slaying zombies and epicness beyond belief. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, it's the Kerfix, and um, I'm like here, I'm kind of here on it, kind of being stupid. Let me say, first of all, this is probably never gonna happen again, and uh, so second of all, this happened because um, on account of myself being stupid and kind of my the computer being stupid. So what happened was um, I was rendering a video of Lone Survivor, and it wouldn't render. So I tried rendering it again, and it still wouldn't render, anyways. Long story short, when I finally did render it, um, what happened was it delete like, well, it didn't delete, but it was just a blue screen the entire time. So I'm going to make an attempt right here, right now, to try to explain what happened in the episode. So, first of all, as you're seeing up on screen right now, um, my guy is standing in front of a guns and ammo shop. So, and the guns and ammo shop, um, I showed you in the last episode, um, if you go in here and you go in the back room, you can talk to a guy named Hank, which uh, right now will be showing up on screen. And he um, has been, I believe he's been bitten by the zombie and is beginning to contract the zombie disease. Um, and that's kind of sad. So you can give him blue pills, like I was saying in the episode, and you, he gives you one clip for that. And the reason why this is so good is because if you sleep and you take a blue pill, you can only have you have to have zero rounds in your pistol and in your backpack. So you have to have your, you have to be completely out of bullets. So that's why that's why Hank is good. So I got around sixty rounds from him, or not not sixty, but I got thirty thirty or forty rounds from him. I think is a pretty is probably a pretty good estimate of where I was. Um. Anyways, yeah. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is um. We went. I went into a building that's near the. That's near Hank, and um, in that building you find Chai and the uh, blue guy, the blue shirt guy dancing, and I'm gonna show them up on screen right about now. Well, at least I'm gonna show the blue shirt guy and my lone survivor guy, because I couldn't find a picture of Chai and that guy dancing, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, from that you get a key and you get a health tonic, and a health tonic is something we've never experienced before, and. Um, basically just completely refills your health and so i think one of the i think uh okay the last thing we're gonna i'm gonna talk about here is if you check hank's shelf he tells you about a st uh, store which i'm going to be showing up on the screen right now and in the store you can find a uh, sleepy cat comic like um like what the director was asking us to find yesterday or not yesterday they started in the game i think anyways um, you can find a sleepy cat comic, and every day if you come back, you can get a new, like, a new kind of food. So I'm going to go back there in the next episode and show you guys, just for the sake of doing that. And sorry, I forgot. There was one last thing I want to talk about, and I'm going to be showing it up on screen in just a second here. All right, here it comes. Uh, the sleepy cat comics. <laughs> so, uh, in the last episode, I found about four sleepy cat comics, and I know where the last one is. So, in the... I'm going to be making a bonus episode at the end of this Let's Play showing what happens if you give all the Sleepy Cat comics to the director and if anything comes out of that. I know what's going to come out of it, but I'm not going to say it in this episode for spoilers. But yeah, so um, I will see you guys in the next episode. So uh, rate my videos, comment on them, uh, like them if you want, do whatever you need to do. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. See you all later. Thank <laughs> you.